Um, I want to thank Professor Raymond Pierre Humbert for responding to my question about the Mirrors Project, and he corroborated my claim that the Mirrors Project putting mirrors on the in the Arctic to reflect the sun is will just make things worse on earth as um terminal shock what he he calls terminal shock meaning the delay of reversing all the uh, co2 carbon dioxide emissions from the industrial revolution starting with coal and oil and the the global warming scientists are now um fixated on some kind of techno fix whether it's putting mirrors on the top of the planet or um marine cloud brightening or my mylar in space as a sunscreen to reflect the sun and raymond pierre humbert says that all these albedo modification plans are all the same they have the same problem of being in denial about addressing the cause they they don't buy time they make the problem worse because they also um, change the weather patterns on earth the ocean circulation the temperature circulation and in fact the ecological crisis is a much deeper worse problem and I I then asked Professor Raymond Pierre Humbert about the aerosol masking effect being twice as bad as previously thought and how do we mitigate the aerosol masking effect because if we reduce the CO2 we also reduce the sulfur pollution from coal because about a third of the CO2 is from coal. And I cited the science and the, I even quoted his own research and I got no response at all. And I'm sure he's very busy. You know, he's an Oxford professor and he is like the world's leading expert on abrupt global warming. So it was nice to get that response, but um, when we consider the, the nuclear problem of nuclear radiation from either, um, power plants or, um, weapons, and we combine that with the global warming problem and the albedo modification problem, and then we realize that there's, um, a huge pressurized methane bomb in the largest ocean shelf in the world, the East Siberian Arctic Shelf, that Natalia Shotkova um, has documented. And she says these gigatons of methane are under pressure they're pressurized and they can be triggered at any time as the Arctic continues to warm up from the Atlantic and Pacific warm water um, melting the Arctic ice from below and the permafrost under the water melts faster than the permafrost on the land. And so... This is a natural positive feedback that will also um, double the global warming. And as uh, uh, Professor Guy McPherson pointed out in his recent video, the 
the um, plankton have died off in the in the Atlantic Ocean. They've died off by ninety percent, and that's the foundation of life life in the ocean. And also, um, even the IPCC report admits that this is the fastest rate of um, global warming the earth has ever experienced in all the, you know, billions of years of life uh, on earth. So the, the previous six or seven mass extinction of species of life have have all been at a slower rate than what we're going through right now in terms of the CO2 emission release and the, the methane release. And, and so when we think of, of globalization versus Western civilization, it's much worse than we realize it. Global, glo globalization is really the planet turning itself inside out not um not a spreading around the planet of western ideas and trading trading patterns of products it's it's really the internal radiation of the planet will now dominate the surface the surface of the planet cuz life on earth is just a thin layer of the surface and so that's the true meaning of globalization that uh, we're about to reboot the whole planet and embrace the cosmic void the cosmic mother who will never be unveiled um, and so we need to recognize that each of us has a ghost or spirit inside of us. And what is the source of that coherent laser light that's holographic? And that's what we do as meditation and yoga, yoga practice. Um, so it's, it's not a pretty scenario The the modern, modern version of humans is based on the wrong logic. And so we messed up. We think we can control nature. By trying to control nature, we have unbalanced the cycle of life on Earth. And what's called Gaia, you know, the cycling of the, the biogeochemical cycles. And so now we have to face a cosmic cycle on Earth. And um, automation and virtual reality, they, are, they don't address the problem because it's a problem of logic that goes beyond the dualistic logic of computers. It's a deeper logic of the future and the past overlapping as a non-local information energy that cannot be seen it's it inherently is not an external reality so we're about to learn that the truth of matter is light that resonates from a superluminal acoustic energy or ether that we that's will never be seen externally <clears throat> and that's the truth of the ecological crisis so thanks to professor raymond pierre humbert for not responding to my question about the aerosol masking effect because um, we can't rely on the scientists to save us they're all each scientist is too specialized in their own field to try to um maintain their career or 
whatever they're trying to do, their sanity or something. <laughs> and they'd, they'd all be better off if they learned to sit in Padma Asana, Full Lotus, and get some of that pyramid power going um, as the alchemy of denial of the of the Nile from ancient Egypt and um, learn how to listen to the cosmic mother who will never be unveiled and thanks very much <laughs>